Uh, that's a big win for the program and a big win for these guys. I, I think that's, that's a program we haven't beaten in 51 years. Uh, I, it, you knew it was going to be tough. Uh, I, I think when you down the stretch just hanging on and winning the game, you knew it was going to be tough. I told these guys all week, I don't know how we're going to win this game, but we're going to win this game. Uh, I, something Somebody new is going to emerge. Somebody's going to have a signature game. To beat a team that you haven't beaten 51 years uh, and a team that's, that's that team and that program, uh, you knew it was going to take something bizarre, some sort of effort uh, to win that thing. So just really proud of our guys. When you're taking over a program, that's the hard part, is teaching them that that's how you play and prepare every week, no matter who it is. It doesn't matter if it's Mankato, the New York Jets, or Groton High School, that it's every week, that's the intensity, the energy, the focus that you have to have. And if you aren't that program and you haven't been trained to do that for 11 consecutive weeks, it's hard to know how to do that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the key is when you, is focusing on the team, is focusing on the program, is not focusing on, well, hopefully let's get up for a great opponent now. It's not about that. It's not about your playing time. It's not about being selfish that I want more touches or I want this. It's, it's being locked in on the team and what you're trying to accomplish as a program, big picture wise. That's what my job is as the head coach. The coordinators, the coaches, they'll do all the rest of that stuff to, to get each team ready. But my job is to make sure that our football team understands we're trying to build a program and a culture culture and expectations and standards and not just winning one game. So I think just really it was just thinking, focusing on making that one play that's going to shift this thing and, and Arshon has that one play. Coach gave us the call and I knew I was the free player and I knew that they had been throwing the backside. We had to go to scramble drills and stuff and I just, I seen the dude cut up and I seen that it was overthrown so I had to take advantage of that opportunity. It's still, it's still unreal right now. I'm still shaking right like I can't believe it, but I know coach had me in. He knew I could make the play. I told him before I went out, I told him I'd get the ball back for you. It's unreal.